Robert Gates is right, isn't he? Now the armed forces have fewer capabilities, we are a diminished force on the world stage, aren't we? Yes, he's right. We are not as good as we were or as capable so as David we were. So David Cameron's wrong, is he? No, he's not that wrong. We, what we have got is really good specialised troops, for example, cyber security, special forces. Our medical services, military medical services, are better than anyone else's in the world. But we don't have a full spectrum. We don't have as big a spectrum as we can. For example, our aircraft carriers aren't floating yet. We don't yet. have one at the moment. Well, the Queen is, is actually naming... Uh, the Queen Elizabeth apparently this year and we'll get one as soon as we can but it is true that we haven't got what we had the army smaller the navy smaller so, and the Royal Air Force and does that make you uncomfortable because obviously you're a Tory MP now but your, your career has been in the army does that make you uncomfortable that we're no longer a first-class player well I won't say we're not a first-class player because we are when we engage but you admit that but our, I, I am our uncomfortable are diminished. I am uncomfortable because we are at we have a lesser broader capability than we had before. And frankly, there's no doubt about that. The army is going to be going down to 82,000 regular troops with 30,000 reservists. The Navy is as small as it's ever been, frankly, and the Royal Air Force is equally tiny. And the, but what we've got is quite outstanding. Right, but lots of Facebook comments, this is from Mags Oliver says, how can they cut jobs in the armed forces when these men and women put their lives on the line every day, treat the armed forces with the respect that they deserve? I mean, do you think that your government has handled these budget cuts well? Or as a former army officer, you, you sound very upset by these cuts. Look, the government has had to make some rotten decisions on defence. No Tory wants to cut defence. No, actually, no politician, the Labour Party, the same. None of us want to cut the defence of our country, but we haven't got the capability. Can I ask back to the public, which particular hospitals would you like us to not okay. equip instead and put the armed forces up? So when Ros Thomas, again on Facebook, says spend the money on education and old folk services instead of the armed forces, is she right? Not completely, because it's a balance. You know, the purpose of our armed forces is to protect our country. It is the first duty of government, the defence of our country. And are we getting that balance right? Is your government getting I this balance so. right? I hope so. We're doing it. You hope as, so. I hope so, because no one really knows, honestly, until we actually are tested.